proximity to the ocean. Bugly, how can I stop worrying about being disappeared by... I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local board of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. So we're confronting the head of the PMC that has been controlling London. I can do that. Where to? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an ax to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is very suspicious. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We've found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I... How are you doing? I hope you don't mind me getting situated in your safe house. Crime marches on, and so will I. There are still cases that need to be closed, if you'll help me. I'm on it. Excellent. I uploaded a case to Bagley. He can brief you on it. Kelly's been sending a ton of crypto to an unknown party in Cairo. Something to do with Kronos X. Oh yeah, that's... Located the CTOS hub. If you are listening to this, it means you want to learn more about 404. Know what we know. Do what we do. Make your way to the Walkie Talkie Club. It's no big secret that the club is a front for Clan Kelly, but the place has other secrets too. More will be revealed there. The hub just dumped a massive load of data into your optic. How forward?
by now, you must have reached 20 Fenchurch Street. The Walkie Talkie Club is located at the top of the building. Lift access only. You have arrived at the Walkie Talkie Club, where those with more money than sense come to lose both. The Walkie Talkie Club is frequented by all manner of crooked elites, and the owners, Clan Kelly, have an AI in place to collect blackmail material. Find that AI, and let's see for ourselves what these corrupt scumbags have to hide. Well, you worked hard and persevered, and now we have nothing. The AI is not actually here, just a relay sending the club's data off-site. I'll find where it's all going, and you find a way out of this loud, obnoxious sweat hole. Deal? Deal. I've done some digging and it looks like the facial recognition AI was created by BrokerTech. BrokerTech? They're one of the biggest software companies on the planet. Always keep their noses clean too. If they're buying blackmail material from the Kellys, that's big news. Everything the AI is collecting here is being sent directly to BrokerTech HQ. We have to go there to get the data. You have arrived at BrokerTech, lead innovators in software and AI technology, founded by its CEO, Sky Larson, when she was just 25. Talk about an overachiever. They store blackmail material here. Hold it over rich people who have something to hide. Releasing it would hurt both parties. I believe that's exactly what our 404 friend has in mind. Consider it done.
For fuck's sake, they make drones this powerful. Heading out. Stick to procedure. There's no sign of them. Send a description with the report. What the fuck? Son of a bitch! Wait! What was that? Come on! <gasps>
initiate search protocol. This is getting you nowhere. I have all the blackmail data, and, dear God, people are disgusting. I wonder how this family values politician will appreciate his S&M sessions on public display. Oh well, let's find out. Blackmail data is hereby leaked. Good to hear.
Sector. Uh. 